Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Sunday, December 8th, 2019, and this is my second video from my YouTube channel, Prestigious Pelche Productions. As I had stated earlier in the last video, this channel has been a long, long time in the making. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've been putting it off for many different excuses and reasons. And I'm just tired of that. And in order to practice what I preach, courage over confidence, I need to be making these videos and holding true to my word. And I just finished saying this morning on about how a lot of, of us are scared to have somebody see us be bad at something. But we have to let somebody see us be bad at something in order for us to get good at it. I know this is part of the process that I have to do. So I'm here, I'm putting in the work, and I'm doing it. I want to give a shout out to my bro for hooking me up with this hat he gifted me with the other day. Prestigious. And on the back we have purpose over profit. And that's what we're about. Purpose over profit. Courage over confidence. Breaking those chains of our old life and starting a new life. And it's hard. It's really hard. Recovery is hard work. But it's so worth it. And that goes in hand with my topic of what I want to talk about today, which is codependency, unhealthy, toxic relationships, and how do we break these chains that enslave us. So, I know many people who are in unhealthy, toxic relationships looking to these partners of theirs to make them happy, like... They're thinking they're going to find their happiness in somebody. And I'm here to give you the news. News flash. It's not going to happen. These people can't make you happy. You can't seek your happiness from somebody outside of you. You have to find happiness from within. Then you can be happy. And we can only give what we have. If you're not happy inside, then you can't give out happiness. One of my friends was saying that they recently broke up with their unhealthy relationship, but they should be happy. They have a vehicle, they have their own home, they have a job, but they're still not happy. And I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about because I've been there before. We need to find that which gives our life meaning. What are you passionate about? What makes your heart sing? What do you truly care about? I am consider myself to be very fortunate to have discovered my purpose, my passion, and my calling in life, which is to be a speaker and to help people through sharing my story, through writing and speaking, to be a mentor, to be a guide, to use all of my life experiences as tools to help those who are struggling with some of the same realities that I have survived. And I'm right at the beginning, I'm still in my first year of recovery, my first year of building my brand, building my business. But I mean, it's exciting times, you know, it's like, this is what it is. Instead of merely existing, walking through life just in the days, you're actually living and your life has purpose and meaning to be of service to someone. To not just always be so selfish and worrying about yourself, but to actually be of service of someone, to help someone. Like Denzel Washington, I like one of his sayings. He says, one of the most selfish things you could do is help someone else out. Because the feeling of gratitude that you're overcome with is so overwhelming. And that's like the best feeling ever. And I'm starting to do that more and more as... If I give the people what they want, what they need, then I am fulfilled myself. And it's amazing. So codependency. We all know people who are codependent, trying to depend on someone to make them happy. Like you know when you're in an unhealthy relationship, the flags, the warning signs, they're lying, they're sneaky. Your, your intuition is telling you this person's not right for you. But yet you're staying in it because it's what you know. It's what you're comfortable with. You're scared to go out on your own. You're scared to be alone. I can say from personal experience, one of the biggest 
blessings that I ever had in my life is when I broke up with one of my my life partners and we broke up and uh, you know she left me and I really needed her in my life I was so codependent that I needed her but I wasn't able to get to her because we were in different cities and she had left me and I was so broken and I was so codependent that I felt like I needed her but I was forced to learn how to be on my own how to be independent how to not rely on someone to fix me or cure me or make me happy which that wasn't coming from them anyways so by force I was forced to be on my own to learn how to make myself happy and it was one of the biggest blessings I've ever had in my whole life to be able to say hey I don't need someone to make me happy I can make myself happy I can find out what's important to me what am I passionate about what do I care about you know so finding discovering this calling I don't feel like I discovered it I feel like the the glory goes to God he he guided me into this this calling of mine to be a speaker it's like when I first thought of being a speaker I was like whoa that's too much man I could never see myself doing that but here I am I have over 60 presentations and I am doing well and every day in every way I get better and better and my confidence grows and people really are supporting me and saying that I'm doing really well so I feel like this is my chosen path and just trust in God that he's guiding me the way that I need to go totally so toxic relationships we all know people who are in them we all know that they're not good and we know that we need to break away from them so it's reaching out to the different resources that are available reaching out and asking for help codependency meetings they have meetings for codependency i went to a few they're good they're really good they help you to look within and to be able to rely on yourself as i was telling somebody codependency is not sexy ah nobody likes that Nobody, ah, oh, I'm claiming, ah, oh, come here, ah, oh, how come you're not messaging me, how come you're not calling me, what are you doing, blah, 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 we've all know somebody like that, it's gross, it's not sexy at all, nobody likes that, it's a turn off, you push people away when you do that, and I used to be like that myself, and I didn't feel good when I was like that, trying to be jealous and checking in and all this and that, you don't need to do that, you need to, be independent and have confidence in yourself and your partner. And if you can't do that, as I heard this guy say, no relationships in the first year of recovery. What do you have to offer? Jealousy? Codependency? Insecurities? And he's totally right. That's what we all have to offer in first year of recovery. Nothing positive. Like So just stay out of relationships. Work on yourself. Get well. Get healthy. Independence. That's sexy. You see someone who's independent, who doesn't need someone to make them feel good about themselves? Mmm, that's sexy. I think we can all agree on that. So, if I'm going to leave you with a thought today, the thought is going to be, what is your purpose? What is your passion? What is your calling? What is it that makes your life have meaning? What makes your heart sing? What do you really care about? Right? If you find that and discover that and then pursue pursue that, then you can start building yourself up from within and become independent and not have to worry about trying to be in these unhealthy codependent relationships and breaking up and going back and breaking up and going back. See it over and over again. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that no more. Become healthy. Heal. Become independent feel be yourself be real all right so that's the message for the today i want to thank you all for stopping by my channel checking out my videos i'm hoping this turns out well and um have a great week purpose over passion courage over confidence prestigious we out thanks